I'm not gonna try that hard. Calm down. <laughs> not gonna try that hard. That's why I got married, so I can get fat and stop trying. This is not. <laughs> I did. I saw. I, I tried to date, and the young women are doing too much. All the nastier than I remember. This. <laughs> what happened to missionary? We doing new shit. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. My last day before I started dating my wife, the woman said something in bed that made me just start going to church. And I'm Muslim. It was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot happening. I'm hitting it from the back doing regular things, you know. And she turns around, she goes, mm, yeah, that's right, nigga. Choke me and spit in my mouth. <laughs> I said, Madison. I don't think you can say that word, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and also, <laughs> because, <laughs> you challenge me. <laughs> you should know that Madison in that joke is uh, black, but I feel like if your mama named you Madison, she definitely don't want you to say nigga, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not on my regular amount of weed, so I'm a little off. <laughs> I like to talk about drugs, because I do a lot of drugs. I'm just fucking with y'all. I'm the police. Y'all going to <laughs> We're in LA. We can say it. No, you going to jail, bitch. <laughs> no, I, I don't do a lot. I do one drug a lot. I do one drug. A lot. I do a lot of weed. I, I do weed with everything. I parent with weed. That's the best. People are like, oh, you're a gentle parent. No, I'm hot, nigga. I don't. <laughs> Daddy, I spilled it. I'm sorry. It's all right, little nigga. Get another one. It's fine. <laughs> you trying to talk to me about current events? I don't give a shit. I'm high. You know what I mean? <laughs> do you see what's going on in Ukraine? That's white on white violence. That ain't my business. <laughs> Something about their culture. They got to get that shit together. <laughs> That's how I watch the news, man. I watch the news high as shit. I get real high. Last week, I had the best fucking week of my life. My mother-in-law came and picked my son up, and I was smoking weed, and it was just me and my wife in the house, and she walked around with the titties out because you can't do that with a fucking baby that was breastfed. And they could be five and still be like, they still, we still eating? We still doing this? <laughs> no, you pull them out. Don't fucking pull them out if I... Well, put the motherfuckers up then if I can't have none. <laughs> so she's going, she's free. She got the titties free. It's very natural, graphic in the house, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm smoking, and I, I fucked up and turned to Fox News. But I ain't catch it at first because I, I don't listen to the news. I just watch it. It'd be muted. I was listening to DMX. While I was watching Tucker Carlson. It was a lot going on. So I'm just getting high. Just, you know. So I'm getting high. I'm watching Tucker Carlson. And all of a sudden on the screen, I see 50% of all murders committed in the United States were committed by... Black people. <laughs> I don't know if y'all know this, but you can't do math high. Because all I heard was 50% and black people and murder. And nobody was home except me and my wife. And 50% of two. <laughs> no, she's a killer. I'm in a house with a murderer. I... <laughs> <laughs> My favorite part about that joke is as soon as I say Fox News, some people's booties get tight. It's <laughs> <laughs> and I say the part about black people and then other booties get tight. It's <laughs> Is he doing black-on-black black jokes in front of this mixed, diverse audience? 
And then we get to the end, we're like, oh, this is about his wife being a killer. This is fine. <laughs> but nobody ever says, wait a minute, man. That, uh, numbers don't really make sense. Like, I get it. I know what you're doing, but the number doesn't really make sense. 50% of all murders? Because I Googled it. It's actually the number is statistically correct, but they didn't give any context for it. And that's what fucked me up. Yes, 50% of all murders committed in this country were committed by people of color. That's true. But why are they telling you that on Fox News? We not killing you, I looked it up. 92% of the people that black people that murdered were other black people. Like what the fuck are you scared of, sir? I'm not going <laughs> Clutching your purse, move. I'm trying to shoot the motherfucker behind you. Also, they don't explain that part like, yeah, black people killing black people. Yeah, because black people live near black people. That's it. It's no hard shit to figure out. Black people live near black people. That's why they shoot fuck black people. Like, if I lived in a very black neighborhood, which I do because Chicago is segregated as shit, and I had beef with a white dude at my job, he's safe. I don't know how to get to his neighborhood. It's fucking lose my signal with all the tunnels and tall buildings. I'll I see you Monday, Henry, you know? <laughs> Plus, they don't explain it. Black people kill black people. Black people kill black people. Black people kill every Well, if black people kill black people, who the fuck is killing everybody else? I Googled that. It's everybody else, nigga, it ain't us. I Googled it. Latinos, if you are in this audience right now, if you want to be safe, 92% of Latinos murdered in this country were murdered by another Latino. If you're Asian in this country, you want to be safe, you, you already good. Y'all don't really kill. That's not... It's <laughs> not y'all shit. Good job. <laughs> but this was Fox News, and that's what bothered me. On Fox News, you're not telling white people who's killing white people. Y'all not going to keep your own people safe? That's fucked up. So I did the research so I could keep all of my white friends safe. <laughs> and I found out that last year, 91% of white people who were murdered in this country were murdered by gluten. Y'all can't eat bread? Look at y'all soft. Hey, I'm up, y'all been cool. <laughs> <laughs>